so good for so many <laughs> years. Will this be number 18? It very well could be. With us in the booth, John Meehan, the brass caption head for the Blue Devils. Thank you, Steve. It's the sound, man. With, with the Devils, for me, it's the sound. And boy, yeah. do you have it this year. Thank you. Yeah, uh, year after year, trying to just recreate yourself and, and be the better Blue Devils than we were in the past. So just keep giving what you love, give it more. So. Now, you, you also are working as an arranger with the course. So you yep. get to be kind of be on that side. What is it like to to think of 60 years of history leading up to this moment and think how are we going to honor all of this in one yeah, show? I, I think one of the coolest things is Scott Chandler every year comes up with great show themes and ideas and it, it allows Dave Glide and the rest of the uh, design team and I just to kind of have all of our tools available to do almost anything we want and moving forward is just always so awesome. Now. The Blue Devils organization has obviously been a huge part of your life. I mean, tell yes. us a little bit about your personal history. I, it's kind of my life business. I've been around drum corps since I was born. My parents uh, met in the Troopers. My dad taught the corps. My mom was in the corps. And uh, Jerry Seawright, who you'll hear in tonight's show, he actually uh, hired my dad to come to California and start teaching the Blue Devils. I became the first horn member in the Blue Devil C Corps. And, and I spent 10 years marching in the corps, and this is my 24th year teaching. So. The Blue Devils mean a ton to me, as they do to so many people around the world. It, as a young core director, and I, I thought Jerry Seawright walked on water. Yeah. And when you guys weaved his narration into this show, that, that just made it all the more special. Absolutely, yeah. It was a recording that we came across that was very rare, and it was something that we knew we had to put into the show, and I think it gives it that last little emotional burst. And everybody needs a little fly to the bumblebee in drum corps, you know? It's like, why not? <laughs> yeah, any, you know, the things that you can put into the show that are in, in context with what the corps is performing, I think is always fun, and it's something to challenge the members, for sure. Love how you walk us back in time here uh, <laughs> off the line. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. A, a nice nod to the past, and then we quickly get right back into the current. And the ballad. Yeah. Uh, that, that's, I hear that's my favorite favorites, moment yeah. of the year. One of mine, too. It, Everything Must Change, that tune was one of Scott Chandler's cornerstone pieces that he wanted in the show, and it, it's just something that we were able to bring to life. And what those soloists do in the car, it's just an amazing, I'm getting goosebumps yeah, talking too. about it. Yeah, yeah, bring it to life is a little bit of an understatement. So. I can't wait to see him do it tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the core on the field